The Institute of Geography and Earth Sciences at the University of Wales Aberystwyth has undertaken research on remote sensing of terrestrial environment and ecosystem dynamics for some time. We've been working with Definian Decognition Technology since 2001 on both national and international projects. And we've been an Ecognition Center of Excellence since 2005. We have practical applications highlighted by our projects undertaken in both Wales and Australia, which we would like to show you. We have found Definia Decognition to be an intuitive approach to the segmentation and classification of both airborne and spaceborne remote sensing data. Our use of Definia's developer instead of Definia's professional has significantly advanced our capability to undertake mapping in quite complex environments, such as our Australian woodlands, and also to roll out the algorithms we developed to larger areas. This part of the presentation shows how we have used Definia Decognition technology specifically for forest and habitat mapping. Our work in Wales requires the discrimination and mapping of semi-natural habitats from satellite sensor data. The problem was the classification was complicated by the seasonal dynamics of vegetation and land use as we are living in a temperate area here. Our work in Australia was different and necessitated the delineation of tree crowns uh, within fine spatial resolution airborne data, namely CASI hyperspectral. Um, but the forest that we were looking at was structurally very complex. They contained a diversity of tree species, and many of these had crowns of different sizes with varying architecture. We found that Definian's professional gave a solution to both problems, and Definian's developer allowed us to optimize these solutions and apply our algorithms at a regional level. In both cases, the technology has allowed us to translate the knowledge and information extracted from satellite and aircraft imagery into a language that can be more readily understood and used by field ecologists. And this is important because ecologists are often the people who want to use these data but don't have the capacity to do so. Now to get also dynamic, we found that Definit's e-cognition technology has also allowed us to integrate time series data from a diverse range of airborne and satellite systems to capture the dynamics of landscapes. Through this approach, we have fulfilled our vision. This technology has allowed us to develop and implement our ideas for characterizing, mapping, and monitoring terrestrial environments at regional scales and in a range of uh, locations. Our work in Wales has focused on the classification of habitats and agricultural land in Wales. In particular, the Burren Mountains in mid-north Wales project demonstrated the potential of using multi-temporal data sets from Landsat, Spot, uh, LIS, and ASTA for habitat mapping and agricultural land mapping. An example is an image of uh, the classified uh, result for this area. Definian developer also facilitated us to um, scale up our classification algorithm up to the regions. And here we have um, an example of how we've managed to process large areas using the algorithm that we developed on a very small subset of the area. We have found that successful information extraction applications require really a very well-planned and thought-out method with e with the Definian's developer and, and professional that can be implemented within a series of processes. Processes that are simple as possible and transferable within and between scenes. For example, the classification of whales are developed on key regions as it's been rolled out across the country. And Definian's developers includes new functionality to support the development of these processes, namely the variables, as Gregor mentioned. Yeah. <laughs>